Hey guys, Jim here with Simple Little Life. I've got a really quick tip trick for you today. And uh, I shared it in the video where I documented the building of this mezzanine. Uh, it was on my Jeremy Gertz channel. A lot of you folks are like, what happened to your garage? <laughs> like, hello. Anyways, I built a mezzanine for storage and the trick that I shared in that video was the trick of the three, four, five triangle. This is a really simple way to find square. Now above me, I've got a beam coming this way and a beam coming this way. I want to make sure those are square to each other, 90 degrees. So I used this three, four, five triangle and I got able to set them. Really applicable if you're building smaller things and you don't have a small little square, or especially when you're building large things. Say if you're laying out a fence in a yard and you want this leg of the fence to be exactly 90 degrees to this leg of the fence, this three, four, five trick can really help you out. So we're gonna jump to the overhead shot and I'll show you how to do this. All right, so to help out with this demonstration, we're gonna use this layout mat thingy madauber uh, because it's already marked. You can see we've got one, two, three, four, five. It's in inches this way as well as this way. Now let's focus our attention on three, four, five. It doesn't have to be three, four, five. It can be any multiple thereof. It could be six, eight, uh, six, eight, ten. It could be 12, 16, 20. Three, four, five, any multiple, uh, 30, 40, 50 metric and imperial. This is like a dual lingo type thing here. So example, for, for, let, me, let me draw this up. I'm going to draw a quick explanation and then we'll do a couple proof drawings just so you can see that it actually does work and that this isn't just me feeding you lies. So if we were to look at this, what we want to do, if this is the angle that we're trying to get to 90 degrees, we're gonna lay out markings on the shorter leg in a multiple of three. On this longer leg, it's gonna be a multiple of four. The way that we can check it, so we mark out three inches, three feet, three centimeters, nine, whatever, mark out the four multiple, four, eight, 16, 20, whatever. The point from here to here will be five of these. So it could be three inches, four inches, this will be five inches exactly if this is 90 degrees. If this was 12, this was 16, this would be 20 and so on and so forth. Now, what happens if you have a angle that's a little obtuse, I'm not sure if I drew that obtuse or not, but we've got three, we've got four. If this angle is obtuse, we're gonna get more than five on this measurement right here. It might be five and a quarter. All we would have to do is move this one this way, or this one this way, or both until we get five. Then this becomes 90 degrees. Cool beans. Now let's actually prove this theory. It's not a theory, it's a fact. So I've got my Fiskars cutting mat here. We're gonna go one, sorry, one, two, three inches. On this leg, we're gonna go one, two, three, four inches. Now if I measure right here, right here, you're going to be exactly five inches. Does it work? Ba boom Just like magic. Five inches. Three, four, five. Done. Let's take it a little bit further. Six, eight. So if we go here to the six, right there, go to the eight right there, we'll put our measurement on there, to here to the six, it's ten. Three, four, five. Again, this is a super handy trick for larger construction projects. Obviously, you know, when I'm working in my shop, I'm not doing the three, four, five all the time. I mean, if I've got a little part, I wanna mark a line, I'm using a square. I'm curious. Never mind, they don't. I thought, I thought they did three, four, five, they, they didn't do that. But obviously for a lot of work, even like sheet goods, lumber, uh, it's easier to use a square. But when you get into larger projects, like I've got long beams here or a fence line or something like that, you're laying out the foundation of a house, this is accurate enough to use that. Another thing to think about, you can put a stake, I've done this a lot for fences, you put a metal stake in the ground, you run a string out and you put a measurement on that string in Sharpie, mark that string, take a string the other way, mark it, and you can tie a measurement on there and you'll know how far to move this one to get it exactly 90 degrees. And if you've got these both marked out and you have somebody holding the measuring tape on the uh, 90 degree, on the Sharpie mark on this side and you kind of measure this in and out, you will know exactly when you're at 90 degrees. Boom, right there, you can stake it in. 
it's just a wonderful trick. Three, four, five, a lot of you may have heard of it before. Some of you may not have, and if you hadn't, and you're building things, might come in handy. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Oh, yeah, check. Sorry. Uh, this isn't explicit, but check this out. You'll be right. Yeah, we can handle it. <laughs>